Hi everybody. Uh, this is lecture for week 7, uh, lecture 1, Monday 30th of November, uh, 10 a.m. Okay, this is uh, the thing that you, that you will learn uh, today. In the previous lecture, you have to learn. You have learned uh, step one, analysis. Step two, journal. Step three, ledger. Step four, trial balance. And then you have learned step five, adjusting entries. And in this lecture, you will learn about uh, the step six in the accounting cycle uh, doing or preparing the adjusted trial balance okay okay let's see uh, the first point in this slide a trial balance okay the adjusted trial balance is a trial balance you prepare after adjusting entries are done the the adjusted trial balance are useful to identify all revenue and expense account and prepared income statement. Number two, compute the net income or net profit. Number three, compute the ending written earnings balance. Number four, prepare ba a balance sheet using the balance sheet accounts and the ending written earnings balance computed from step three. Okay, so the thing is like this. Uh, in step four, you have prepared a trial balance. Uh, remember the trial balance is prepared uh, to check whether the recording process is correct or not that is the main purpose after you have prepared the trial after you have prepared the trial balance you do adjusting entries adjusting entries are done because you want to make sure make sure that the recording process follows the matching principle after that or the second reason is you want to make correction if there are any errors after you have done the adjusting entries you have to prepare a new trial balance uh, the new trial balance is called adjusted trial balance it means the a new trial balance you prepare after the after you have done the uh, adjusting entries uh, the adjusted trial balance is like the the final trial balance a trial balance that is free from error and uh, follows matching principle okay the format of the adjusted trial balance is same like the format of the trial balance same okay after you have prepared the adjusted trial balance which is a new and correct trial balance you do the step 7 in the accounting cycle uh, which is uh, to prepare the financial statement remember uh, you have learned about financial statement financial statement contains uh, five components income statement balance sheet uh, statement of equity statement of cash flow and notes to the account in this course uh, you have to focus only on two component of the financial statement uh, the income statement and balance sheet so after you have prepared the adjusted trial balance, you have to prepare the income statement. Okay, this is the format of the income statement. The basic formula or format is revenue minus expenses. And then you can calculate the net profit or loss. This is an income statement for a service business. If you prepare a, a, an income statement for a um merchandising business then it is more complex uh, because a merchandising business uh, sells something if you prepare an income statement for a manufacturing business it is more complex than that because a manufacturing business uh, pro manufacture products and sell the products so so many things has uh, have to be recorded so just remember this you have to only know about how to prepare the income and income statement for a service business 
the format is like this revenue minus expenses there are several expenses and then you can calculate the profit or loss that is the first uh, component of financial statement that you have to know how to prepare the second component of financial statement that you have to know how to prepare is to to prepare a balance sheet in this case for a service business so you can see here the format of the balance sheet is very simple uh, there are actually there are several format for a balance sheet the contents is same are same but the format are several uh, i think there is a statement format and also this format this format is called t format income statement uh, in this course you have to know how to do or how to prepare a t format income statement the t format is like this uh, in the left side of the uh, statement you have to list all the assets uh, starting with the current asset and then you have uh, see it at the second half of the uh, left side of the balance sheet you have to list the non-current asset the non-current asset like equipment etc so you have to list all the assets in the left side of the balance sheet and then in the right side of the balance sheet you have to list all the liabilities and the owner's equity accounts this format is um, this is in accordance with the accounting equation see uh, remember the accounting equation the accounting equation says a assets equal to liabilities plus equity so here you can see in the left side of the balance sheet you have to list all the assets so you will get a total number in this example the total number is 720 oh sorry 45720 assets so in the right side of the balance sheet you have to list all the liabilities and uh, owners equity account so the total is same also 70 sorry 45720 this is showing the accounting equation assets always equal to liabilities plus equity so this is the balance sheet and one way to to check whether your balance sheet is correct or not is to to see the total in the the uh, in the left side and the total numbers or total dollar in the right side of the balance sheet if the total number or, or dollar in the left side equal to the to, to the total dollar in the right side of the balance sheet then you can say that most of the time your recording process is correct if you see the total are different the total are different then you you have to check uh, your uh, trial uh, your adjusted entries and also you have to check your adjusted trial balance maybe there's something wrong there so basically this is the end of the process remember the output of financial accounting is to produce uh, the balance uh, the the financial statement Okay, uh, so I have told you, uh, finan a financial statement contains five components, income statement, balance sheet, statement of equity, statement of cash flow, and then the notes to the account. Uh, so now, what is the notes to the account? Uh, notes to the account, see here in this slide, notes to the account contains list of assumptions and methods used in preparing the financial statement it gives more detail about specific items augment the summarized numerical uh, information if you have time you go to any website of a, a listed company and then you you see the listed company's financial statement and then when you see the financial statement of this listed company you can see the full uh, the complete uh, components uh, in the financial statement 
you can see the income statement balance sheet statement of equity statement of cash flow and also the notes to the account for a company this financial statement is is a complex document but for a service business that you have to learn in this course it is uh, simple okay so and then the second thing remember this the the person or the party that is responsible to prepare the accounting record is accountant after the accountant prepared the financial statement uh, there is another party uh, has to check whether the the financial statement is correct or not. The person or the party who check the financial statement is called auditor. Okay, see here in the second half of this slide. Uh, auditor or the audit uh, checks financial statement for conformity with GAAP. GAAP means uh, generally accepted accounting principle or we call we typically call it accounting standard remember in a, in financial accounting you have to follow accounting standard so auditor will check the financial statement to make sure that everything is done according to the accounting standard uh, the auditor also reviews adjustments sample selected accounts and accounting system uh, the auditor will check everything properly they have their own method they do sampling they do uh, verifying etc and then attaches audit report and distributes it with the financial statement so after the auditor check the account the auditor will prepare a report in that report the auditor will will gives of opinion will give opinion uh, the auditor will say the uh, the accounting record is correct or not basically uh, they have their own language they will give like qualified opinion unqualified opinion uh, what else uh, disclaimer etc um, uh, if you are interested to know about the auditor you can read in other sources uh, what are their responsibilities how do they uh, how they do their work uh, what is the output of their, uh, their, their, their works, etc. Okay, this is number 8 step in the accounting cycle. In some textbook, they put uh, present entries in number 7 and financial statement preparation in number 8. But I prefer to put it uh, in number 8 of the accounting cycle step because closing means the end the ending the ending the end process so what what are the things that you have to do uh, when you do closing entries so before you can do closing entries for uh, for account, uh, for accounting record for a business you have to aware that uh, there are two types of accounts uh, remember in the recording process there are many accounts cash account, account receivable, account payable, equipment, land, building, uh, capital, withdrawal, revenue, expenses, etc. These are many accounts. Uh, these accounts can be divided into two categories, real accounts and uh, nominal accounts. Real accounts, remember this, real accounts are permanent. It means that you close the account today, it has uh, a balance and you have to carry the balance uh, to the next accounting year. Okay, these real accounts are assets accounts, liabilities accounts, and capital, and return earnings. Okay, the reason is like this. Let's say you have a business, uh, today you close your account. Let's say today is 31st of December. You close your account, you see that you have a $20,000 cash balance. Uh, it is a real account uh, and it is permanent because tomorrow when you open your shop, you still have the $20,000 cash. It will not disappear. 
same like if you have a liability let's say you have a bank loan uh, $10,000 uh, you close your account today the ending balance for the bank loan account is $10,000 tomorrow uh, new year uh, you open your account and still you have the $10,000 uh, bank loan uh, unpaid okay uh, and same goes to the capital uh, let's say today you uh, you have invested uh, $10,000 capital into uh, your business you close the, your account today tomorrow uh, new a new year or a new accounting period still you have the $10,000 uh, capital okay the second uh, category of uh, accounts are called nominal accounts these nominal accounts are temporary temporary because okay uh, and these accounts are revenue accounts and withdrawal accounts sorry revenue accounts and expenses accounts these accounts are called nominal accounts and they are temporary accounts uh, why they are called temporary accounts because when uh, let's say you have a business and then at the end of the year you close the account when you close the account you calculate the profit and loss to calculate the profit and loss the basic formula is revenue minus expenses let's say uh, in that year you you get five thousand dollar profit so tomorrow you open your shop in a new year your revenue is starting from zero your expenses also starting from zero that's why we call the revenue and expenses account as uh, temporary accounts at the end of the year you calculate profit and it becomes zero we have in a new uh, in a new year it is starting from zero okay so this and then how to do the closing entries uh, to do the closing entries you have to close all the nominal accounts at the end of the year you at 31st of december you 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 close you calculate the total uh total balance uh for every revenue and uh, expenses account and then you create a new account called retained earnings so the revenue account balance will appear in the right side of the retained earnings account and then all the expenses uh, all the account expenses balance balances you have to show it in the right side of the retained earnings account the difference between the uh, right side and the left side uh, is the profit actually and in this example uh, the profit the name of the the name for the difference between the uh, left side amount and the right side amount is called dividends i think uh, dividends is like if the business uh, distribute the profit to the owner of the business that's why it is uh, is given name as dividend but if the business does not uh, distribute the profit to the owner of the business then uh, the name of the difference is uh, I think you just put it as uh, as an ending balance for the return earnings account even though the this is the final uh, step in the accounting cycle uh, I have to tell you that the most important thing in this course is the step 7 you have to know how to prepare the income statement and balance sheet focus on that okay see and this is the journal entry uh, when you do the closing entries and then you prepare a post-closing trial balance
for the uh, temporary accounts you have to uh, to create the return earnings account and for the permanent accounts uh, you have to show this or you have to prepare this uh, close the uh, post closing trial balance so this is the document if this step is important then i will prepare a uh, another video uh, to to show you uh, the way how to do it to do this if it is important otherwise you can use or read this uh, lecture notes so like uh, like a trial balance that you have seen earlier if the total in the debit side equal to the total in the credit side then you can say that the trial balance is is correct or the recording process is correct okay that's 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 it that is the end of the accounting cycle so now you can say that you have learned all the uh, the steps uh, in the accounting cycle starting from analysis and then general ledger try balance adjust the entries adjust the try balance you prepare the financial statement and the last one is uh, you do the closing entries uh, now you know what is or how to do accounting record very good uh, this is like the like a revision remember uh, what is the step one step two step three um, so this is the end of the lecture uh, i will share with you i think three videos uh, i have prepared the three videos uh, like uh, several months ago but i hope each the videos uh, show you clearly uh, how to do the just entries how to prepare the adjusted try balance and then how to prepare the financial statement uh, to prepare the income statement and balance sheet you have to watch that video and also uh, you write your name and metric number here in the comment section also in the three videos that i will show you you have to write the, your name and metric number so that i i, I will take uh, i will take it as the uh, as the attendance uh, for this week thank you very much uh, i hope you work hard and uh, get good marks uh, in this for this uh, in uh, for this for this topic uh, 